All right, I think we're here. Are we on? Is this happening? Uh, I think I think this thing is on. Hopefully, let me know if you guys can hear me. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm doing this on my own, so I don't have anyone to help me and tell me if uh, if if you can hear me. But hopefully, you can hear me. So uh, let me know how the audio levels are. The music in the game, the game audio might just really need honestly to come down a bit. So let's just bring this down a touch. Um, but I'm hoping you guys can at least hear me. I'm hoping. Yeah, you can hear me. I can hear. I just tested it on my own stream. Okay, we're good. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the the New Year special live stream. I This is a new thing I'm, I'm, I'm trying because I've kind of wanted to do a live stream for a long time. I'm not a streamer, um, but I've been wanting to, to just to try this. So it'd be fun. To, I thought it'd be fun to jump in. We can kind of chat. We can hang out. We're just in the campaign mode of PC Building Simulator. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a lowly level eight, so I'm kind of a... I'm kind of a noob, to be honest, uh, but I've been, we're just gonna kind of work through some missions. Hang out, we can talk about computers, life, you know, whatever, whatever, I guess, sort of uh, tickles your, your fancy. Is that what people would say? I don't know. Um, so yeah, how are you guys doing? Let me know how the audio is. Like if the music is way too loud and my voice is too quiet, let me know I can do things to make it better. Uh, definitely, like, let me know. So, okay. The chat is the chat is strange. Uh, I'm not used to having like so much stimulus doing a video. It's it's uh, it's a lot. So okay, well anyway, we're we're here in campaign. I guess we can start off for there. Uh, we're in campaign. I've accepted a bunch of missions. I actually kind of had like work through a couple missions because I I didn't know where I was or what was going on. So I had to like struggle bust my way through a couple missions, trying to remember where I was. I should have used the handy new notes feature that's now built into PC Building Simulator. I think actually you have to buy it. Yeah. You have to buy it in career. No, you don't. Okay. Okay, never mind. You do not have to buy it. I thought it was a I thought it was a tool you have to buy. I think maybe you have to buy it like if you want it on here. Am I making that up? Is that totally made up? I don't know why I thought you had to buy it. Maybe it's free. Maybe it's free after all. Okay. Well, um Anyway, okay, you guys are saying that the audio seems to sound good. So that's good, awesome, happy to hear that. I was a little nervous about it. So, okay, uh, yeah, I did a test of streaming earlier and I had no mic audio at all, so that wasn't great. Uh, all right, well then, forget this. Forget forget the notes, they don't cost money. But anyway, uh, so we got a bunch of, I got a bunch of jobs actually right now, like a bunch of stuff coming in. We're gonna have to build some computers that are gonna run certain things, like this one is gonna run sub-level zero redux. I don't know if that's like a sub, Nautica? Like, I don't know what sub-level zero redux is a, a play on. Uh, okay, someone did say louder daddy, which is um, <laughs> hilarious. Uh, I don't know. If, just let me know if you guys think about it. If you think about it, it's fine. Cool. Awesome. Good. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, how am I? I'm doing great. Uh, I got to see a bunch of familiar faces in here. This is awesome. We've got uh, Turbulence, who helps out a bunch of my Discord. Uh... This is this is great. I saw BGA Chief in here at one point. Bunch of familiar faces. Uh, thank you guys all so much for supporting. We are now in 2021. If you didn't know, I think everyone's in 221, 2021 by now, right? Uh, are we all there? I, I don't know. It's 11 o'clock a.m. my time. Hopefully the streaming time works okay for everyone. It's super hard because like I know a bunch of you guys are from countries all around the world. Like I saw someone in so there's from Slovakia. Uh, I know like we got people in the discord from from Latvia. So it's like I can't I can't, I don't, There's not a good time for everyone, but hopefully um, Hopefully this is working out and you can always you know watch this later. So that's super cool uh, All right, let's just like jump into a few of these things uh, We're gonna have to build a, a computer that can play sub level zero redux. It's gonna be really hard to focus on these missions uh, we're gonna try. Uh, we got something else coming in. Uh, pretty sure I managed to break something. A cable wouldn't fit, so I forced it. That's always a good thing to do. Always, when in doubt, just just force it. That's true in life. It's true in PC building. When in doubt, you just gotta yeet it out and just force it. Don't do that though, really. Honestly, don't do that. Uh, so the motherboard's now broken, and I guess the air cooler's broken? In terms of time, can you finish it by 3-7-2018? Oh man, almost two years ago. Nine days. Um, I think I might have visited one too many study sites. Arctic components are meant to be the bomb. So, awesome. 8 p.m. in Latvia, apparently, according to Rufus. That's awesome. 
Uh, hey, PM is not bad. At least it's not like, you know, 3 a.m. or something. What else we got? We got, uh, we're going to repair this one, diagnose and fix. We've got pop-ups. So there's going to be some uh, virus scanning going on. This person needs, I'm going to be a, a pro league player. You know, like a super humble brag. Uh, me ma'am says we don't have the money and I should be, shouldn't be spending on stupid games. Okay. It's going to run League of Legends. It's interesting that we can use League of Legends, like... That that game doesn't need like a weird pseudo name. We can just straight up call it League of Legends. That's fine. But the other ones, like we got to call them like Strike Back Go and stuff. So it's kind of funny. Um, yeah. So people are asking if I would do free build later. I can. I can do free build too. I thought career would be kind of fun. But you know, if you guys want, like I could jump into free build. We could try that out too. Oh, this is a, a little email about the notes feature. Huh. I forgot which power supply to buy to support the 3080 I just added. Oh, nice. 750 watts or higher is what NVIDIA recommends. Uh, all right. Wow. What are we doing? Okay. I've got computers over here. This is too much stimulus for my small little brain. Okay. Uh, oh, why did I accept a 3D Mark mission? I always just deny these because I think they're completely silly. I don't know if you guys like them, but I can't stand them. What is this one? Uh, but can I, can I, can I, all right, we'll replace the power supply in this. I can handle this. This is a this is a job I can handle. So this will not power on. We need to pull out this power supply. What is it's got like a clear window around like the back. That is a weird a weird look. Huh? What power supply is this? It's probably a Shan. No, it's Corsair TX five fifty M. Probably need to pull that. Yeah, S three forty Elite for the case. Okay. Nice, cool. Uh, wow, but it's the like, what is the special? I don't know what this, what is this called? It won't, it won't tell me, it's fine, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, what else, we're gonna move this. Okay, TX550, awesome. So, you know, we'll just go over here, jump in the shop, get us a power supply, a TX550, boop. Add to cart, okay, great, awesome, awesome. Uh, this guy that wants the League of Legends PC has the best story arc in the campaign mode. Seriously? That's awesome. I am have to like pay attention to that. Uh, wait, who is this person? Where are you? Yes, you. Oli, 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 oli. Fuck. Oli, oli. P.S. If make it, if I make it big, I'll definitely recommend you. Okay. That's awesome. I guess I could see how that'd be kind of a cool story arc if he does make it big. He must make it big then, huh? Uh, oh jeez, 3D Mark score. Wow, this is like all S340s all day. All S340 elites all day long. All day long. Let's see. Uh, let's do compressed air. All right, we're just gonna clean this out. I, I feel like I have the hardest time knowing where to like blow the dust out it's like it's here but you sort of just like have to wave your magic wand randomly blindly around the pc case until there it sort of is going away i don't know maybe i'm just bad at it i think we got it all hopefully uh pc can boot to os yeah i think we'll at least do that what are we dealing with here why do you never show me why do you never tell me the parts it's just telling me the parts that i spent money on i guess uh, 3D Mark score of 4,066 and upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM. I, I, I always just get rid of these missions because I think they're sort of silly. But I guess here we are. We're going to do it. We're, we're just going to do it. It's like these people are laughing at me because I got the normal S340 and not the Elite. That actually cuts pretty deep, <laughs> but it's super true. Uh, yeah, it's like I got the S340 because it was cheap, and I, I got like got on a sale or something, and I was like, man, I should have just got the Elite because like the the sad like plastic side panel, the plastic window on it is just so disappointing. It's so cheap. It's like every time I take the side panel off, it's like a little part of me just. just slowly crying but uh it's all right we'll see maybe we'll do a case i don't know i've been really contemplating like doing a case change at some point because the sv the sv40 is just not a great case for airflow and now that i have a 3080 uh i need that airflow like she's she's real hot she's real hot in there she's cooking right now i can see it she's sweating it's okay it's okay you're you're fine you're fine 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. The SV40 is not the best case for that. Definitely not the best case. Let's see. What do we have right here? This is Oli Oli. Okay. All right. Okay. So I need, I really need to like buy a debt. How much are these? $4,000. Oh, I could probably afford it, but I don't know if I want to. I probably should. This is going to basically be done. Um, power spot. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to take you off for now. We'll get your power supply tomorrow. We're going to work on Oli 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 Oli. I don't know. Uh, and you want a c computer that can run LOL. LOL, 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 LOL. Uh, I hope I have yeah, a little run. Okay, let's check out. I guess I don't know if you said minimum spec or recommend. Oh, minimum spec. Okay, there you go. Minimum spec for League of Legends. Okay. League of Legends. Minimum spec. I'm really bad at reading this chart. If you guys have seen some of the videos I've done, uh, I, I like can't read this chart. I don't know why two columns is too difficult. I can't I can't contemplate it. Uh, okay. Needed you have yeah whatever. We need four gigs of RAM. We need four gigs of VRAM. We need twelve gigs of storage. We need a sixty six hundred an RX five seventy. Okay, so we'll do a sixty six hundred an RX five seventy, four gigs of RAM. Cool. That sounds. Well, I don't know why I exited the computer because I need I need to stay here. Sixty six hundred. That's not that's not it. Sixty six hundred. I'm just gonna seriously minimum spec him out here. That's okay. Actually, what's my budget? Eight hundred. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, all right. All right, 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 okay. Eh. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm like, I'm like the worst, trying to like read the chat and not blow you guys off and also think it's not a good combination for me. Okay, 6600, uh, let's see. So that's gonna be LGA 2011. Hello, LGA, oh, what am I saying, 2011? That's not right, it's not 2011, don't listen to that. Uh, Sky Lake or KB Lake, I assume, but I'm kinda scared, maybe we'll just do, we'll do the Mortoni H170 M-Tech Plus or just the M-Tech. Yeah, we're gonna save him some money. We got 200, 800 bucks. Memory, we need four gig. Four gigabytes. Uh, we'll rock the A Data Premiere. That seems actually. Let's just go real cheap here. What can what can I what can I squeeze you into? Nope, that's gonna be it. Okay, there's your four gigs of memory. Uh, we need an RX 570. RX 570 graphics cards. Good. RX 570. Cool. Four gigs of VRAM. Good to go. We need 12 gigs of storage. So we're just gonna go in here and nab like a. Uh, yeah, I, feel, I mean, this would be fun. I'll just give him the cheapest, I guess. We're just gonna keep it cheap. I don't want your mom to get mad at you. I know I know she's upset about this whole computer thing, you know? I get it. My mom's upset about it too, but she's getting over it. She's not really upset. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not telling the truth. Uh, all right, what do you guys got going on? Uh, you, wow, Rufus, you have an RTX 3095. That's amazing. That's seriously super amazing. Uh, do a new case in the thermal take level 20. Level 20, how are you today? I'm great, how are you guys? Dude, you got a 3070 and a 5600X, Andrew, nice. That's awesome, I have a 3080 and I have a 5800X on its way to me. So that means finally, uh, CPU upgrade, 7700K is gonna, gonna get sold. Uh, I'm pretty excited, so finally. I wanted the 5900X, but they're so, so hard to buy that I'm settling for 5800X and it'll be it'll be totally fun. So, so yeah, motherboard actually gets here like I think this weekend and then CPU in like a couple weeks or something. So, yay, that's exciting. I feel like now my computer is going to be like fine for a while. Uh, all right, let's see. What am I doing? Did I buy a power supply? My God, this is too much. It's too much for me. Uh, power supply, let's see. What are you going to need? Like 350, 450 watt? I don't know. Let's just, I don't want to go too low. Uh, so we've got storage. We've got... Oh, you're gonna need a case. That's gonna be an important thing. Let's get you a case. I always put all these builds in like the $40 case. It's fine. It's not cool. It looks fine. We don't need any case fans. We're good. We got storage memory. We got CPU. We need a CPU cooler. Although I might even have, I don't know if he cares about new. No, I have none. Wow. Okay. Uh, Mortoni Thermal 100, the world's best air cooler. Everyone knows it. We should get one in real life. Uh... What else we got? Ryzen 5 2600 with an RX 590. That's not bad. That's a lot of bang for your buck, I gotta say. 
Uh, Gigabyte GT210, that, yeah, that's, you know, that's better than nothing. Uh, 3600 and 1650, nice. Can you do a live upgrade video thing for the CPU and motherboard like you do with the GPU? I am planning to do something. I will be honest, I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do because like installing a motherboard and a CPU kind of takes a while. So I gotta figure out a way to like edit it down to be good and not just like long and boring and whatever. And also like, I don't have a video camera and uh, I basically have to recruit someone to help me shoot that kind of thing. So it's uh, it's kind of a janky setup, but I wanna do something. So the plan will be to do something with the CPU and motherboard showing some sort of installation of it. You know, it might not be like a, full on like time lapse of me building it or something, you know, super wonderful. But uh well at least show it, you know, show the CPU, show the motherboard. I got I'm getting the Strix X570 E gaming. I'm kind of a sucker after this, even though the Strix board doesn't run memory and dual channel anymore because I think I put too much pressure on the AIO probably the first time I installed it like a noob. Um but I really like their BIOS. They have great VRMs. I like how they look. I like the functionality. So I just, I'm sticking with it. It's not the cheapest board by any means, but uh, I like it. So we're gonna stick with it. We're gonna do another Strix board for the uh, 5800X. And I'm so excited to go from four cores, eight threads to eight cores, 16 threads. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna help so my games so much, like so much where I'm bottlenecking super hard. Uh, but yeah, uh, got a new PC for Christmas, Ryzen 5 2600X, Asus Tough Gaming, X570, that's a nice motherboard, uh, Radeon 5500, Triton Z, 16GB 3200, nice, M.2, nice, Fantex Eclipse are cool too, I really like Fantex, I wish Fantex's cases were in this game, because they're pretty cool, I've built, I've built two computers in real life in Fantex cases, and, uh, they're really fun. One of them was kind of like more small form, small form factor. I can't remember which case it was exactly, but I gotta say doing the power, like wiring up this power supply was pretty brutal. Uh, luckily it was a modular power supply, so it helped, but it was it was still pretty pretty rough. Okay, I think we have his done. I This is like impossible to try to focus and do stuff at the same time. Maybe we should just jump to free build. It's like my brain can't handle trying to actually, do, like these missions are hard enough for me normally. I feel like <laughs> I can't do it. It's too much. It's too much for me. Uh, let's just jump to free build. Like this will be super, it should be pretty quick. We can just jump to free build really fast. Let's go main menu. We're gonna, yep, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. I'm sending it. We're going to free build. We're definitely not doing esports. I still need to do one more week of esports, by the way. I realized I was like, oh my God, I have one more week of esports. I think before like that campaign is over. Um, so I need to do that too. Those videos are a major commitment. They take a very long time. I'm gonna stay in the Overclocks UK workshop. Just the lighting's good. I like the Aorus workshop, but it's so dark. It's so dark. It's like you guys can't see, you can't see anything. So we're gonna do the Overclock UK workshop. I always hang on this screen. Please don't crash game. If you crash, I'm gonna be real sad. Please don't crash. Please. Please don't. Uh, this is a good chance to look at chat while we're um, while I'm crossing my fingers that I don't crash. This game needs an ASUS Tough 3070. Agree. There's like what? How many? Is there like one 3070 right now? How many are there? Yeah, two. So there's a ASUS GeForce RTX 3070, which is super weird. I didn't even know this card existed. I thought they only had a Tough 3070, but uh, and then the founders, which is pretty cool. All right, we're in free build. <laughs> that was fun. I'm glad we did campaign. I was super, super valuable. I think I completed no missions. So, all right, uh, what do I got? Oh yeah, this is the this is my computer. Uh, I, this is my last video I just did, actually. This is my uh, computer, the S340 non-elite. Yep, rub it in here. Wait, let's get that side panel in here for the full effect. Uh, hello, can I have the interface? Thank you. Uh, there it is. That's what it looks like. The side panel is very sad. I wish it was an elite, but it's okay. We'll see. Maybe we'll upgrade to a different case at some point. Something a little more airflow focused. We'll see. <laughs> Settling for a 5800X Pro. That's just sad. Yeah, it's still a super good CPU. Uh, I just, I really wanted 12 cores. And what I've heard, the 5800X is like a pretty hot chip for what it is. I think they basically said like, like the TDP is like the same as the 3900X, but it has four less cores. So it's kind of like weirdly mismatched like watt per core. And so it kind of runs a little hot, but people say if you uh, put on eco mode in Ryzen master, their software, it actually like helps a ton. So uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, let's build something, eh? Let's build something cool. Let's build something with like water cooling. Let's check out, you know what? I kind of want to check out one of the new cases maybe. 
So let's check that out. So they added what, three, four, five? What is going on? They added a few new cases in the 1.10 update. These three cases. I've already built in the Antec P120 crystal. It's cool. It's got top and power supply. It's kind of unique. Uh, I'm going to save the Asus ROG Strix Helios because I really want to do like a Asus ROG build 2.0. Uh, but the Rasion Tech Aris Evo is a full tower, and I have to admit, I'm quite curious. And maybe, oh my god, it is gigantic. It is beautiful. Eh, look at that, like, little uh, dedicated hub for USB and headphone and power, wow, and power, power button. That's super interesting. All right, so let's check this out. This is huge. Let's hide our interface for a second. Oh, it's so nice to be in free build, too, because I can auto-screw everything. So this is also super nice. Uh... All right, there should be more Asus ROG parts. Agreed, totally agree. Yeah, like they don't have my old motherboard. I don't even know if they're gonna have my new motherboard. I'm kind of curious. What is, that's so weird. So there's like a mesh back against this frame. There's that little plate here that hides our power supply. Uh, whoa, the power supply actually mounts from the back. That's unique. Okay, and then we've got four drive bays for three and a half inch drives and we can take out the cages, which is pretty neat too. Uh, all right. And then there's this gigantic bracket, which I don't know what the purpose of that is, but we will probably find out. Take off our front. So that's bolted on the four. And there's mesh on the front, okay. And then around back, we've also got like metal glass. I think it's metal and then mesh. That's a really unique case. Oh, and then we've got, I can't zoom out enough, but there's mesh up top. Wow, we could get a 480 rad up there. We got a 480 up there, right? I mean, that has to happen. That has to happen. Uh, oh God, is my game freezing? Please no, no. Okay, we're back. Wow, that was scary. Oh, it actually like froze super hard on me before when I was uh, catching up in campaign mode before I actually starting streaming. Okay, what should we do? Actually first, I just wanna see like X570, do they have the motherboard I'm getting? I don't think they do. They have like no new Asus boards. Oh, they have their X X570i gaming their uh, mini ITX board. We should put that in this case. It won't look totally ridiculous. No, it will. Uh, the X570 Godlike is pretty amazing. Wonderful. It's like $700, super, super sweet. Crazy expensive. Uh, but they added a few new X570 boards, did they not? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Now I'm like, I should pull the changelog for the last update because I can't remember. What did they add? Um, I'm just gonna keep scrolling this list forever. Well, I guess we could do the mech. Meg X570 Ace? Is that new? <laughs> I can't remember. Let's try it. Let's try. I want to see what the RGB on that looks like, actually. Ooh, a little gold. We could do a little black and gold build. What about that idea? Maybe? Maybe. Possibly. Gold is actually really hard to do in this game, I've found. Uh, all right, let's go. CPU fits this PC. Now, 5000 series, we only have the 5900 and the 5950X. Sadly, we don't have the 5600X, the 5800X, um, but we've got the, the two top of the lines. Let's go with the 12 core because it's the CPU that I wanted and I couldn't buy. Um, you also really can't buy a 5950X. They're both extremely hard to buy. You can kind of buy a 5600X if you're quick and pay attention and same with the 5800X. The way I got it, uh, I'm in a Discord that has some notifications. They send me notifications and I quickly scramble and try to buy a CPU and fail. And then we repeat that like probably 15 times until eventually, finally, it works out. So that's how I got it. That's actually kind of how I got the 3082. People have asked a lot, like, how did you get a 3000 series card? Uh, yeah, I wasted way too much time trying to get it. That's how I got it. I sat in a Discord for like uh, probably like a week. I mean, like at least a week. And I tried the day of, the second they went up, and like, I mean, I watched EVGA crash, I watched Newegg just like crap all over itself. Best Buy was fake, like not even not even really supplying cards. Let's do the black block. Yeah, that'll look good. Um, but eventually, like NVIDIA, when they were still selling them directly, because I don't think they're selling them directly anymore. Um, when they were selling them directly, I was ready. And I was signed in, I had everything set up, and I jumped in, smashed through it, and made it out with a card. So super, super awesome. Uh, let's do a couple, this is gonna be like a PC I totally want right here. 16 gig, 4,000 megahertz, Trident Z RGB. Yeah, give it to me. That looks sweet. That looks sweet. Dang, Tank Baby, thank you. 
for uh, love you long time. Thank you. I I also love you long time. I feel a mutual love toward you long time. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, we've got three M.2 slots in this. God, that's sweet. I wish the I wish my new motherboard had three M.2 slots. They only have, it only has two. It's fine. I've got two M.2 drives right now. I really just need to like figure out what I'm doing with them. I'm, I might kind of change how things are set up um, because yeah, I've I've got like my OS on my SATA M.2 drive, and I use the Samsung 970 Pro just specifically for videos, like a scratch disc, and it works super well. Like it's and it's totally helped my video editing flow, um, but it's, it's, I don't know. The, the, the OS is still super fast, so it's like not that big a deal, but now that I'm gonna have a, I don't know. I don't know, maybe we'll change it around. I, I haven't decided, I can't just, I can't decide, I can't decide. What are we doing? Uh, we should install something. I don't know what I'm doing, storage, okay, let's do it. I always wanna put these awesome M.2 drives with like the big beefy heat sinks in, but I never can, cause they always have the, uh, like little heat spreaders that go over them from the motherboard. And so I can never do anything. And I always end up using the 8 ones because it's the fastest one I can get two terabytes. And so here I am just doing the same thing again. I basically have to use a board that has a dim.2 or I will never, ever, ever be able to use them. So sad, but that's fine. We're just gonna do that. Uh, I mean, still six terabytes, ridiculous, of 3250 megabytes per second. Pretty awesome, uh, pretty awesome. Buy a Happy Meal with it. Thank you. I will. I will buy a Happy Meal. That's exactly what I'm going to do with it. Thank you. I haven't had a Happy Meal in forever because I'm not a child. So, you know. Um, what else is going on, guys? This this streaming thing. It's, it's so much to think about. They need glorious peripherals in the game. I agree. I have a glorious... Actually, I have a glorious mat, like gaming mat, and also their, like, wrist rest. And uh, they're both quite excellent. So, yeah. Uh, all right. We're good on storage. I think we're, we're, we're good on storage. Storage is done. Uh, let's, what are you guys thinking for GPUs here? Talk to me about GPUs. You guys are going to plan what GPUs we put in this. That's your responsibility, chat. Figure it out. I'm not doing it. If you want to put a 1030 in it, we're going to put a 1030 in it. And the world will laugh at us. <laughs> And that's fine. Uh, they've been laughing at me since I was born. It's not true. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, I guess, how do I pick a power supply when you guys are gonna put the graphics card? You know, well, I guess we'll just go big. We're gonna do just like massive GPU <laughs> or a uh, massive, massive power supply. And if we put a, if we put a 1030 in it, it's gonna be super good. Cooler master, master watt, 1200. This is like really expensive, isn't it? Isn't this like the super, oh, I just take this back panel off. What, this also comes off? Oh, it's like a beauty panel to get the hard drive bay? That's cool. But if you want to get that middle bay, you got to take the whole panel off. Dude, Raging Tech, you're crazy. Your cases are crazy. I don't understand. That's a massive power supply. It like barely fits. Dang, I would not want to have to mess with that personally. Look, it just, I think it's even kind of jutting out, but it's fine. Uh, okay, 3070, 3080, 750, 3080, TI, 37 now, 1030, 3090 from Asus. 1060 Founders Edition. I like it. Uh, dual 3090s. Okay. 750 Ti. GT210 not in the game, I don't think. Sadly. No, nothing Nothing quite that old. Uh, all right, so that's power supply. We're not going to mess with... Oh, let's just, you know what? Since storage went so well with the M.2 drives, and it didn't because I like lose my brain doing this all at the same time. Let's put some more drives in it. Let's just get all the storage. Let's use up all all the SATA ports that we can. I can't remember if you typically hit SATA data port limit or SATA power port limit in this, but I've definitely had that issue before. Like when I built, uh, gosh, what was that one case I built? And it's like a, it's totally like a NAS box. Like, and so it has like, I don't even know, like 12 drive bays in it or something. And I think I ran out of, I'm pretty sure I ran out of SATA data ports, which would make sense. Like a lot of motherboards only have like six or eight, something like that. So, okay, there's that. Let's go ahead and cable this up. You know, we really shouldn't be using black cables, right? We need to use something cool. What color cables? 
What color? What color? What color? What color? Have you tried modding the game? I haven't, but I've seen people who do, and it's hilarious because they post their they like post their 3D Mark scores. And they're like, noobs, I got 77,312, and it's like, yeah, cool. Doesn't count. But uh, yeah, it's cool. That they, it's, it's, I mean, the mods are cool. I really, I should check it out. It's like something I've been meaning to do. It's like on my like punch list. Um, I need to, to do it. Cable color. What are we feeling, y'all? Pink. Why do I gravitate towards all like the bright fruity colors? Pink, uh, cyan, purple, magenta, ketchup and mustard. Oh, ketchup and mustard is t that is tempting. That is tempting. Uh, what are the ketchup and mustard cables in this one? I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, what are like the really ugly ketchup and mustard cables? Like, oh, yeah, plastic pattern, red, yellow, black. Eh, they're almost too pretty. They're they're prettier than normal ketchup and mustard cables. Like, just those look. Those look terrible. Where, what, do they not like have? Yo boy, Chris, 27,755 highest three mark score. Yeah, that's definitely higher than mine. I don't, I have not spent that much time overclocking. It's so, it's so uh, putsy and I don't have the patience for it. Okay, we'll do red and yellow. Ribbon plastic pattern, you red, yellow, black, red, yellow. Those look very, very similar to me. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do ketchup and mustard. Ketchup and mustard is the only color really to do. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a pretty gaudy build. I feel like once we do the water cooling, it's gonna get extra, extra gaudy. Uh, I don't even remember if I can actually color these cables, but just in case, let's do it. Yep, yep. Get them all plumbed up here. Plumbed? Nope. That's electrical, so, okay, all right. There we go, that looks nice, yep, I like it. I think we got a good thing going here. We got like a McDonald's theme. The, the gold motherboard though is is uh, not not quite as, not quite as McDonald's. It's like Ronald McDonald's computer, okay. Uh, cool, graphics cards, guys. I'm feeling like, I'm gonna look at some quick. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking, th I'm thinking 30 series. So let's scroll to the bottom because we can see all of our 30 series. We got Founders Edition 3090, Founders Edition 3080, Founders Edition 3070. It's pretty awesome. The 3090s are cool. They're chonky boys, but you can actually run them SLI. Uh, but we're gonna do water cooling. So who am I kidding? Well, I guess we we could just we could just water cool the CPU because we're gonna water cool the GPU. We're basically 2080 Ti, the top end, all the way down to like what 1070. I think 1070 is like the low end. Yeah, because I'm gonna say Vega 56 is probably better, like a little, a little better than a 1070. So, uh, yes, there are Founders uh, RTX 3000s now. So yeah, if you're running the PC version of the game, which means you got the game on Steam or GOG, 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 I think it's just GOG. I don't know how you guys say it. Um, you should be able to update to version 1.10. And 1.10 will give you, I actually did a video about it, so if you haven't seen it, you can check it out. Um, that will give you Founders 3090, 3080, 3070. And then we got these new these new 5000 series too, 5700, 5600 XT, 5500 XT. And we got EVGA's cards, 3090s, 3080s, we got For the Winds, we got their XC3 Ultras. Uh, we also got some 1660, we got 1660 Super, 1650 XC Ultra, 1660 Ti Ultra. And then we got some colorful 3000 series, 3080. Oh, they're all 3080s. Uh, Strix 3090. Oh, I kind of want to put that in here. Because it's super crazy. Uh, Tough Gaming 3080, not the 3070 or the 3090. And this is where we were before. This is basically the only 3090s we had before. So yeah, so now we have 3080s, which is pretty awesome. Super great. So yeah, that's how I, I was able to build my computer in the game now. Because I have a Founders 3080 IRL, and now I have it in the game too. So, uh, dude, I'm feeling Strix. Yeah, why are all the, oh, it just doesn't have any PCIe slot covers. Dude, that is a chonkster, dude. Oh no, it's one of these motherboards. I've got the Band-Aid, no. Uh, you have to be really, you have to like choose the right motherboard that has the right spacing. And then make sure you also have a case that can accommodate that spacing. This case would have been fine, but this motherboard, um, doesn't have the SLI or the PCIe slot spacing to do the good bridge. We need a little more spacing and we can have the good bridge, but we don't have the good bridge. We have the Band-Aid, the piece of tape. Uh, yeah, so, but maybe it fits. Maybe it fits with our ketchup and, ketchup and mustard build here. I don't know. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, as far as console updates, so yeah, like I said, this the 1.10 is only on the PC version uh, if you got it for Steam or GOG. I actually didn't realize that the Xbox version, which is Play Anywhere, uh, so you could download it if you had bought it on Xbox, Play Anywhere, whatever. You could download it on your PC, but it's still going to be the console version. So I can't remember what version you're on, but it's like 1.6 or something like it's way behind it doesn't have workshops it doesn't have a lot of stuff uh, and it's pretty disappointing um, but what I've heard is that well okay we know that there's a big console update coming in early 2021 hey it's now 2021 we're closer than ever <laughs> I'm trying to be optimistic um, so there's a big console update that's coming and I think as far as I understand it's supposed to bring it up to version parity with the PC version 1.10, which is the version that's out right now. Um, yeah, no, yeah, uh, 1.6 is like, I think Ryzen 3000 is in it, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, I don't have the console version, but it's like, it's way back there, like it's missing a ton of stuff. It still doesn't have the Raging Tech Enyo for some reason. I don't know why, cause that, it's like, it's it's interesting though. there's just some like weird emissions too. Um, because yeah, like the Raging Tech Enyo cases. No, can I not? Oh, I don't want to be in here. I was trying to get out. Uh, yeah, like the Enyo is still not in the game. The Enyo is really fun because like you can just do ridiculous water cooling builds in the Enyo. Um, it can just support a ton of radiators and it's it's super awesome. Um, it's not that. It's not on the console yet. And they're missing a bunch of stuff. Like yeah, definitely no 3000 series. Uh, like they're missing a lot of like they don't even have like water cooled 2080 Ti's from EVGA or anything. Like they don't have. They don't have like any of these cards. They're missing a ton of stuff. They don't have like a bunch of the M dot, like the really fast M dot twos. They aren't in there yet. Um, it's a, it's yeah, it's kind of a bummer. But there should be a huge update coming early this year, and I think it's supposed to bring up to version 1.10. So the current version of PC Building Simulator, it's supposed to bring up to parity with that, I believe. Um, so we'll see, and that'll be super great. And then I think, like from what I've heard, I think they're trying to do a better job keeping the console more updated and not like leaving it behind so much. Yeah, we're doing a 480 rad up top because we can, oh yes, oh my gosh. The radiator support in this is gonna be amazing. This is super unnecessary because I'm not even water cooling the graphics cards. I mean, we could always switch to water cooling, I guess. Oh, oh, what are you doing there, bud? Okay, there we go. Dude, yes, 480 in the front, 480 up top, and why don't we just take another 480 and slap her in the back. No, 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 don't deny me, please, please. Why? What? Wait, 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 wait. How does this clash with the other radiator? What? What? It's like highlighting the other radiator, like that's stopping me from installing it, that's insane. What is going on? That's completely, <laughs> no, please, I want this. Dude, the what? Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, jeez, I don't know. I don't know the controls in this game. I don't know what to do when I hide my uh, interface. Let's just, let's, un, let's like remove the wiring quick. I don't know what's going on. I haven't built in this case yet, but uh, what, how, ha, ha, how is that clashing? How, how's it possible? Mouse and keyboard supports for consoles would be great. Yeah, I can imagine. I cannot imagine what playing this game with a controller is like. Like, do you use the thumbstick to move the mouse around? It's gotta be, right? Like, that's crazy. Next gen motherboard, triple graphics? I don't think so. SLI is basically gonna be gone. I don't even know if it'll make it to like the next series of GPUs, honestly. I don't, I don't know. Uh, should be a beta where you can play PC even if it's buggy? Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be cool. Console, there's only two X570s. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And it's probably like, I think it's like two Aorus X570s or something. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, what else? 30 series on PC, building sim on PC. Yes, it is. If you have it on Steam or GOG, you can play with the 30 series. Uh, 38, 3070, and 3090, so pretty cool. It started with just 3090. Two, it was two 3090s from MSI, uh, but now we've got a few 3070s, 38s, and 3090s now for multiple vendors, which is super cool. Um, no water cooled 3000 series yet though. Hopefully that comes soon. I don't know why these radiators will install. It's making me very sad. Like very, ugh, it's making me so, it's making me so sad. I'm so disappointed. Let's install this. Well, that's unscrewing. 
Uh, overkill sleeper build, maybe. Yeah, I like that idea. I need to redo another sleeper build. I think that would be a ton of fun. There's some good case. There's only like a, I guess there's only a few cases to do like a good sleeper build. So it's the one bummer is that I feel like I have to kind of use the same case. Okay, so I can put this one up here. Weird. It's just so weird. And then if I try to put, let's see, let's see if it lets me do it in this order. This game is weird. No, no, it, wait, wait, wait. Eh, go low, go low. You go high, I go low, go low. But seriously, just go low. You were going low before. <laughs> I don't understand this game. It's just so weird. Like I was able to go low before and now I can't. And so it's Clash on the Top right here, okay? Let's try another thing. This is like, every time I build, it's like when I do like a big complicated build and I show a video of it, before I do the video, I build the computer to make sure there's not gonna be some like game breaking insane issue like this. Like some, oh, why am I doing, I know this way doesn't work. Um, because it's unpredictable. Like in theory, no problem. You should totally be able to get three 480s in here. There's there's no reason you can't, but but the game is like, nah, nah, you're not gonna do that. So yeah, just always, I always check it because yeah, it's rough. Uh, so on console, you point your mouse somewhere and it's always like, hmm, you can put it here. Never, oh no, that's not just on console. That's in the entire game. Yeah, you're totally right. It's the worst. Has anyone put three 480s in this computer? Am I, am I insane? So let's go low with this front rad and see, does that give me anything? Can I do anything? I didn't really want this fan down here because I don't really need to cool the hard drives, but it's fine, I guess. If I can get this in, I'll be happy. Yeah, I, I don't understand this. How does that, how is that radiator clashing? That is infuriating. It's, it's, just, it's clashing because the fans would fight each other. I don't think so. This game does not care about fan direction. It has no regard for proper fan flow. It no regard. It does not care. Uh, yeah, I wish. I hope that at some point they'll let us, one, change out fans on radiators. Like, put any fan we want on a radiator. I really hope that's going to happen. I think there's a chance it could happen, which would be super awesome. Um, and if... I mean, I, and then I also want to be able to change fan orientation so we can set them to be, because like they're always set as exhaust, but I want them to be like intake and, and or exhaust, who knows. Uh, Nightbird said that this radiator would prevent me from putting in a USB drive, but I don't know how, I don't think it would, right? Unless like it's disconnected the cable. I don't think it would, because it's right here. Oh, you mean around back? Wait, where is the, oh, well, I was able to put it. Oh, that is weird. That would be super clunky. Like you could do it because there's a big gap there, but I guess you just like run your IO like kind of out the back and I don't even know, that's kind of clunky. Okay, I don't know what to do with this. Let's do, I'm gonna stick with the radiator in the front and let's just like put fan, or I wonder if I could, can I do a small radiator in the back? Eh, no, nope, it sure can't. I. Ooh, it stinks because this would be a really fun case to do like an awesome water cooling build in, but <laughs> nope, not gonna happen. Not, not gonna happen. Okay, I need to just finish this. We need to finish this build. Uh, and I should have been looking at reservoirs because those are like one of the things that are the most finicky. Finickiest? Oh no, we're good. This one's got lots of room, so we're good there. All right, let's just finish her off here. Uh, I'm gonna put some case fans around back and let's do some Corsair non-RGB 120s, like ML 120s. Because then we can put five of them. Um, ML 120, yeah, let's do it. We're gonna do five of them. Good, Never mind. And we're clashing again. And now we've reached the point of clashing not only with this fan for some reason, but again, the radiator. It's like, I don't know, it's like, it's almost acts like I'm like out of headers, but it doesn't care. Wow, I don't understand this case. I don't understand like how this case shipped in the game. They're like, yeah, no, this is totally functioning like we want it to. Really? Like this? This is the, f <sighs> help me. What if you put a smaller fan on the top? Um, make a smaller radiator right up here. Make the most expensive PC version 1.10.0. Um, yeah, I could do a most expensive PC. We could go a little further because we have 3090s now. So that's something I could definitely do. Um, yeah. It's it's clashing because the game is bugged. Nether Gamer. I agree. I think I totally agree. The game is bugged, therefore it's my fault. Okay, let's just finish the water cooling loop. I'm really sorry about the fact that the, the, the fans look like this, but uh, yeah, it's how, it's how it looks. What is 
What is, what is going on right now? Um, ooh, gold? Let's do... I'm, I'm bringing back the gold, even though we have not stuck to our gold at all. This is so many radi like so many gigantic radiators. Yep, look at us. We're doing soft line tubing. I want to build another computer, though. So um, I just want this one to, to go away at this point. I'm sad. I'm sad about it. I'm frustrated. I'm disappointed. The game has broken my heart yet again. Uh, okay, let's see. What horribly ugly coolant can we put in here? green yep oh it looks so good it totally looks great with the rest of the theme i'm loving it um yeah everything else is here though i think we're like good to go and we can get an os on i'm not i mean i, I could bet. oh oh you were right you can't get a usb drive in here which is hilarious because there's plenty of room certainly i can get my little fingers in here and put this usb drive in but like to say that to say that that blocks it, like, then what's the point of all these fan mounts? Man, I am super disappointed in the fit and finish on this case in this game. Disappointing. Like, don't even bother putting it in the game if this is the condition it's going to be in. Yikes. All right. Well, that was a that was a bust. Sorry, everyone. Who knew? Good Lord. I had no clue. All right. Well, I'll just, I guess we'll just install some stuff really quick. We can, we can take it out. I don't have my cool wallpaper. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just restart it. We can set our RAM to XMP and then we can just throw it on a benchmark and we can start building something different. Let's build something different. Uh, okay. RAM OC, XMP. Uh huh, uh huh. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Apply changes and we're good. All right. Man, this is the disappointment PC. Although I got to say, the, the Strix cards and the MSI motherboard look pretty cool. Look pretty good. Strix has changed their design so much for th for 30 series. Like their 20 series look very similar to the 10 series, but uh, I guess we could. Let's OCCT it real quick. Infinite, sure. 23090s, 3900X. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, okay, what else should we build? Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. What case should we use? What case do y'all like? Case is like the most fun part in some way, sort of. Let's do, what is, maybe we do something like more like mid-range. Let's use like one of the new 1650s, 1660s or something like that, right? That'd be cool. Uh, let's see. What do you put a smaller fan on top? Make some, okay, uh, you need to build the actual best PC you can build in PC Sim. Yeah, I, that one could get redone uh, for sure. Now that we have 3090s, we can definitely do better than we've ever done before. Uh, Antec C6, H710. What's a C6 look like? Oh, not in here. Sorry. They have a few Antec cases. P6? You like the P6? We're not. Yeah, we're probably going to do that. Uh, H710, I do believe, is in the game. Yeah, H710. Yep. H710 is pretty cool. It's a nice case. Not the best airflow case by any means. Um, so I think if I was going to get a case. Uh, oh, they don't really have it. The. H500P is pretty good. And I think this is like an h 7 P. I don't know. It's got a mesh front, Cooler Master, big fans. It looks nice. It'd be good airflow. Uh, build the cheapest PC you can and overclock the hell out of it. I will have to do that in a video. Yeah, for sure. I need to come back and like do a different cheapest PC. Like I need to do it, underclock it really bad to get the worst P like to get the worst uh, 3D Mark score and then overclock it and try to get the most. I think that would be pretty fun. Okay, so P6. P6. Nope. Mouse, 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 there you go. Oh, there it is, P6. You went to the P6? It's kind of sleeper. It's kind of sleeper. NZXT PC Sim Special Case. Is that, I don't know if I have that. Oh, I guess I, I have the Hyper Beast. The Hyper Beast cases. The H440 is cool, but it like obfuscates so much of the side panel that you don't really get a super good view about it. But it's a cool case. I haven't built it in a long time. Um, we could do something small form factor. I wish that the NZXT H1, isn't that what it's called? H1, wasn't it? It looks like an Xbox One X, or one, one Xbox Series X. It's like a tall tower. H500P. I do like the H500P. Fractal Design Mesh Vice C is also really good. Yeah. I know. The Mesh Vice C is like a case that I kind of want in real life with the temper gloss. Oh, it's so good. Let's do it. So it's very dark temper gloss. Uh... Yeah, the Fractal Design one is sweet because it has really good airflow. It looks nice, but it's just totally a mesh front. It's like what I want. I would not mind this case in, in real life for sure. I guess I could have done a different color. Could have done like the white one. 
Black with MSI B550 motherboard. B550 motherboard, huh? LDO3. Yeah, the LDO3 is sweet. I really like the LDO3. Dual 3090s and an H510. That's what dropped in the war instead of bombs. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Okay, uh, let's do it. You know what? Let's go Intel, guys. Let's give Intel a little love because they're sad. Do they have Z we do have Z490s. We have a whopping three Z490 boards. It's so sad. Uh, gaming carbon Wi-Fi. Gaming edge Wi-Fi. Man, now I want to do small form factor. They don't have the fractal design Meshify Mini, do they? Because that's pretty cool. I don't think they have it. Mini I takes, no, they don't have it. Too bad, there's a mini version and it's so cute. LDO3 is really fun. Yeah, the LDO3 is sweet. Let's build the LDO3. I built it once. Uh, it's been a while, I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place, but I really like the LDO3. Okay, we're back to, uh, <laughs> it's like you never know when the game, when it's gonna save my like search in the search box and then it goes away. Yeah, the LDO3 is sweet. It's super cool looking. It's like tower style, so you've got like the convection going, tempered glass, so it looks really good. And then we can put our little Z490 board in it, which will be pretty cool, I think. I'm gonna give Intel a little love. Z490i Unify, the only mini ITX board because the other one is micro ATX. Cool, I have not used this board, so let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, what else? Yep. Yep, yep. Could you do a Boo 450 board with a 2700X? A sort of mid-range nice build. Yeah, that could be cool too. Um, all right, CPU, CPU, CPU. Let's do it. 10900, so the 10900K is here. I don't remember that was, no, that's been there for a while, I think. 10600, 10700K, 10600K. I looked at Intel, uh, cause, so if you guys haven't if you've even heard of or you haven't joined yet, but I have a 5800X on the way. Um, I looked at Intel a little bit, just like look at the price, look at the motherboards, look at the availability, and I was just like, I just can't do it. I just can't do it because they're just not competing that well this year. Um, I considered it though. I considered a 10700K, and then I was like, eh, eh, not really, not really feeling as much. So, uh, what do you think? Maybe we'll do something a little more reasonable, like a 10500K? Nope, 10600K. Man, I'm still like not used to their SKUs now. They have a 10500, a 10, okay, 10600K. 10, 10, we're gonna go a little, a little less crazy on this one. And then we're gonna do like a, I'm thinking like a 1650 Super, or no, 1660 Super, 1660 Ti. I can't remember it. I can't, I don't, I don't understand like Nvidia's naming at the lower end at all. Uh, all right, CPU cooler, what are we thinking? We can do water cooling in this case. It's actually pretty cool, but, uh, we can do it. We just got to go with a little cutie, little cutie rad here. It has to go on the bottom, I think, or yeah. Wow, could it go there? That would exhaust, which would make more sense, right? We're gonna, well, we'll see. We'll see if that's going to be able to stay. I don't have a lot of a lot of confidence in that, honestly. CP blocks, what do you got? Let me see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's just do this. We're gonna like not go RGB on this, even though this is like kind of a cool looking display case here. Can you do an AIO for the CPU cooler? We probably could do it. Oh, we got the Ketchman mustard still going. We could go, we could try an AIO, let's see. Actually kind of curious to see how an AIO will try to mount. Let me make sure I get my thermal paste on here because you guys are very good at telling me when I miss that, uh, but I have missed it. Um, more than I'd like to admit. More than I'd like to admit. Which way do we like? Antex are kind of weird. Cooler Master, H80i, V2 is pretty old. Gamer Storm. Mm. But they did add a new AIO, did they not? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, Cooler Master, Master Liquid, ML120 LV2. <gasps> or the Antec Neptune 120. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try this Antec one. I haven't seen it. Okay, so. Okay, if we pull off this glass, I don't know why that becomes an issue. Oh, and this bracket. That's a drive bay. Okay, all right. <laughs> Hopefully it actually works this time. Oh, oh, no, we're good. Okay, we still got CP. We still got thermal paste. I'm gonna like that, because that puts in an exhaust. Yeah, that's not bad. That works. It's cool. All right, we're gonna throw a SSD in here. Oh, ooh. Ooh, I can do the Patriot Viper with the heat sink. Ooh, like this. Can I fill? I can 
No, I can't sort. You can filter now, which is cool. They add all these filters. Those are great. I want to be able to sort, like sort by speed, by transfer speed, descending, and then just go from there, but no joy. Okay, let's put that Patriot Viper one on, two terabyte. Yeah, nice, cool. I wish I could zoom in more. I can't, I don't, I can't zoom in more. I, oh, I can if I look this way, just not if I look that way. Okay, that's kind of weird. All right, memory, what do we like? What's new? HyperX Fury's new. Uh, I should also look at some, so we got a bunch of people asking for the 10600K. That's good, because that's what I put in there. So that's actually worked out really well. Uh, what is the reason you live stream on YouTube and not on Twitch? I just feel like I have a following on YouTube and I don't have a following on Twitch and I thought it'd be cool to keep it in the same place. Plus after we do this, I can put, I can publish this as like a video and people can watch it whenever they want, which is kind of cool. So I don't know, that's why. Um, can you do an AIO? Yeah, we're doing AIO. Okay, I read that. Um, what else? I haven't been used to Intel's naming scheme since the 8700K release. I think that's actually basically exactly how I feel. Uh, like I don't understand. Yeah, 99KS, <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah. I'm, I'm with you, totally don't get it. Don't get it at all. And then videos has been like a nightmare since RTX because then they did like the, then they threw like GTX 1660 Ti in there and 1660 and 1660 Super and like it doesn't make sense. Uh, let's see. Crack an M22. They're so clean in that case. What is? Put a B quiet Yale. Yeah, I bet it would. It would probably look good too. Uh, let's see. Did they add any more Ryzen 5000? We still only have 5900 and 5950X. So no 5600X, no 5800X. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, uh, really do should do really low end parts of the best cooling possible. See how low you can get your temps. Yeah, I actually wonder. It'd be interesting. Um, awesome. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving here. Um, we do, let's see. I kind of like this HyperX RAM just cause it's like, it's sort of understated. Do a couple eight gig sticks, 3,600 megahertz speed. That'd be fine, I think. Eh, what is going on? Let me in. Oh, I didn't open this clip. Okay, cool. All right, there we go. So we're good. Oh, we're gonna get our SFX power supply in here. It's so cute, I love them. They're so adorable. 650 watts, the best we can do. The fractal designs in here. Kind of forgot that their power supplies are in, oh gosh. We might need to change out the cables. They were fun, but we should, we should probably change these at this point. Okay, cables, what do we think? Cyan, I always wanna do cyan, it's so lame. It's just, I gravitate so strongly. Or cyan. Um, blue? Sure. Blue. Blue's nice. Yeah, that's not bad. There we go. A little SFX power supply. Routes the external power connector up. Oh, wow. Up and out the back by the IO. Up and out the top by the uh, IO. That's cool. What a weird motherboard. It actually has like a little exhaust. Is that how the chipset fan works on this board? Or does it have a chipset fan? Why does it have like a little exhaust thing? Does it actually have an, like an active fan in there that cools it? It's very possible. I don't know a lot about Z490, so it's pretty cool. Uh, all right. They need to add Leon Lee ARGB cables. Yeah, that would be pretty fun. Those things are crazy. They should totally do it though. It would be great for the uh, RGB PC that uh, we could we could have to you know rebuild that. That would be a lot of fun. So. Uh, what else? Graphics card. Let's go a little lower end this time. I want to check out, so we've got like these new 5600 XT, 5500 XT, 5700 OC. Um, I kind of want to check out one of these from EVGA, like the, the six, so the 1660 T, okay. Is the 1660 Ti, that's better than the 1660 Super, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 1660 Super. So it's 1660, 1660 Super, and then 1660 Ti. I can't say 1660 very much. It, it's, it starts to make my mouth fail. My mouth is so dry. Yes. Six, yes. I'm just going to assume I'm right. Okay, let's go 1660T. Uh, although I don't love, I don't love the XE Ultra. Their old XE Ultra, those are kind of, they're kind of ugly. I think the shroud's dumb. This one, I like the 1660 Super. It kind of looks like the old uh, EVGA 1080 Ti. Like uh, here, let's let's look at it since it's sweet looking. Ti with the space. 
Oh, don't do this. It's like sometimes it has a space and sometimes it doesn't. It's super weird. Uh, EVGA. Yeah, 1080 Ti. That's the Kingpin. But like, there's also the aluminum one, like not the dark one. But anyway, the I think the 1660 is cool because it, it looks a lot like that. So let's try that. Uh, where are we at? Hello. Where are we? Here we are. 1660 Super. Super, super, super duper. Okay. We got to take out our... Hello, PCI lock and our covers and install. And I got to scroll back down again because I'm doing everything in the wrong order. There it is. Nice. Ooh, that's cool. A little close to side panel, but not bad. No, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. All the air would come out these fins out the front of the PCB. Uh, let's see. Put our lock back in. Boop. Nice. Nice. We could do a. So like ideally, I'd like to put a case fan down below. The problem is, I'd like to do a case fan down below as intake. The problem is, the game's not going to let me. Um, let's see, what we have, does Antec have fans? Ooh, Prism 120 ARGB. Okay, so I'm gonna take the dust filter. And that's gonna go, oh, it is going as intake. Oh my gosh, it's Christmas morning. I can't believe it. So that's cool. That's actually like the ideal setup right here. So you've got intake, you got enough of a gap on the on the bottom, pull fresh air up into the case and out through the AO up to the top. That actually will work pretty darn well. This is such a cool case. Like it's small, but at the same time, like it's pretty spacious. It's kind of crazy. Uh, all right. 1660 Ti is only a couple of FPS faster than the Super. I definitely believe that. Super's better. Oh, Super's more powerful. I don't know. It, it's, we're conflicted. I'm conflicted. Uh, Super is GDDR6, I think, instead of GDDR5. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see. Can you create bad computer and build super fast computer? <laughs> uh, put an NVIDIA mobile GPU. Too bad there are not any mobile GPUs in the game, but th their, yeah, their lineup for G mobile GPUs is super, super confusing. Uh, all right. Do you think RTX 3070 8 gig with i7 10900F is good? Yes, I think it's good. I don't know what the 10900 F is. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's a mobile. Bro. I don't know. I don't know. They, again, Intel's lineup is also really confusing. They also have like the 10850K, and I was like looking at it. And I was like, what is the purpose of this chip? But it's actually, it's like four. It's like four hundred bucks. It's like a pretty good bargain, honestly. Uh, Ti is better. Ti. Okay. I have a choice in 2070 Super and 3070, so I take 3070. Yeah, I'd agree. I take 3070. Uh, be there are conflicts between the TI and super community. I love that. That's hilarious. Uh, okay. What else we need here? What, 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 what is this slot here for? What is this for? What is this opening? What is the purpose of this opening? What have I forgotten? We have like a, we have like a complete computer, don't we? Yes. We, I mean, we can turn this on. We could even, we could even install a USB drive in it or, well, there, there we go. Kind of took a second. Uh, what else? We're like, we're done. Like we're done, I think. We just need to like put the panels back on. Side panel, nice. Oh, this case is so cool. I would love to build in this case in real life. That would be super fun. Top panel, I don't know if I'll be able to get that USB drive out or not. Oh, drive bay, wait, I don't wanna put that back in. No, I don't care. Uh, dust filter, we should put that back in. Weird, I don't know what that little slot's for. Drive bay, PCI cover, front panel, okay. Boom, look at that, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. Uh, let's see, check out our temps, what else? Wanna throw a little overclock on it just for fun? Let's try it, we'll do it. Actually, let's get our RAM also again set to XMP. I won't overclock the CPU. I don't know, I guess I could. I could, maybe, uh, set that. That's fine. Apply changes, restart. Okay, what's this one doing? We, oh geez, where am I? Uh, we did do something. No, we just did, oh my gosh, it's just been over here running a stress test. 60C on the CPU, nice. Okay, sorry buddy. You've just been over here like sweating. Like you're so ugly, why? Why are you so horrible? I hate you. We could put the panels back on. Oh, wait, we have dust filters. Dust filters. Let me filter out the one fan that I was able to install in the back. Embarrassing. Okay, install, front panel, love it, love it. All right, yep. This case is so large. 
Oh wait, there's other weird pieces that go back here, right? Fan hub, what? Fan hub, what does that mean? Could I mount fans on this? And if I can, why would I? What? It's funny that it calls that a fan hub. <gasps> would that help me put all my radiators in? Probably not. Why does it call that a fan hub? It looks like it has like 120 mil fan mounts on it, but I have no idea why I would want to do that. No idea. Okay, let's just pretend we didn't see that. Uh, I can't zoom out. The case, it's too big. PSU mount, yep, nice. Let's put this one back with our little beauty panels. That is so crazy, that power supply. Uh, wait, what is this dust filter for? Oh boy. Oh no. Is that for the power supply? Oof. It might be to filter the power supply. It's the only thing I can think. Nope. Maybe. Don't know. Not sure. Uh. <laughs> oh, geez. What, what is this for? I don't know. Okay. Well, it's, I mean, sure, if I can't find it, it means it's not important. Uh, who needs dust filtration? Oh, sorry. Wait. PSU mount? BGP? Okay. Oh, what? I can't really. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay. Beauty panel. Good. Yep. Beauty panel. Back panel. Good. Uh, PSU mount. That looks so nice, though. It covers up my ketchup and mustard mess down there. Not really the point, but of this build, but hey. Uh, 26,037. So 30,547 on the graphics. Dang. Isn't that, that seems even higher. Am I crazy? 14,000 on the CPU? Maybe not. I know these are pretty nice 3090s, but dang, that seems beefy to me. Uh, all right, what do we got? What are we What are we doing over here? I can't remember. What are we doing? Uh, what else we got? What are you guys doing? 10850K is cheaper for literally like 2% less performance. Yeah, that's basically what I read. So it's like pretty pretty cool actually. Oh, F does not have integrated graphics. Oh, yeah. I mean, not a huge deal unless your GPU fails and then you're basically SOL. Um, but I would say go for it. 10, because you said what, 10, 700 F? Oh man, I can't find the, I can't find the comment. 10, 900 F and a 3070. Yeah, that thing's going to rip. That's awesome. I didn't know that 10, 900 F was a thing. That's cool. Uh, having a sale on 300 series boards and 400 series boards for like 500 bucks, you can get a motherboard and i9, 9900 K, I assume bundled. Yeah, that's a super good deal. Super deal. Four fan rads in game. Yes. There are 480s in the PC version, not in the console version yet. Uh, do a white and purple build in the NZXT H510. That'd be kind of fun. Do you know what is coming out to Xbox early this year, early 2021. That is all I know. There's a blog post. If you look uh, on the community tab on my channel, I've got a post, maybe like a couple posts down or something, where I talk about the console update and I link to their blog post. So you can check it out early 2021 for console update. Uh, take a look at new cases, see if there's any other sleeper, do dark PC. Yo, what do you think of i7, 9700K, and 2070? I think that's a pretty solid build. And uh, 1440p or lower, you're gonna do pretty well, I would say. 2070 is a good card. I, I thought about upgrading to it a while ago, but I just decided to wait it out till 3000 and somehow, somehow snagged one. So, okay, is this good? Is Are we good here? What's happening? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm babbling, okay. Um, cool. What else? Let's see. Someone inside the H, what was it? H510? H510, NZXT H510, white and purple. I think there's a, is there a white and purple version of that case? Cause that would be kind of fun. Maybe we'll do that. And then this will be like the last one we do. And then we'll like end the stream or something. Probably H510 or H510. Oh wait, H510i or H510 elite white and black. So the 510 I don't actually really understand the difference between these cases. They look extremely similar to me. Oh, glass front on the 510 Elite. Got to do some RGB fans. I would do that, right? 510 Elite, that's fine. That's fine. Gosh, yeah. NZXT, their cases are sweet. I just don't appreciate the one exhaust in the top. It's just like, it's set up to not have good airflow. And also like, look at this. Glass side panel, glass front. There's your intake, like this gap. You're relying on that to pull fresh air through. And it, I mean, it's it can do it. It's just, it's not ideal. Like look at the angle that has to come into the fans. Like that's not ideal. 
their cases look cool. Like, again, I have a S340, not elite, um, but they look cool. They look super clean, but they are not like the most high performers as far as cooling goes. Okay, so we're gonna do white and purple. Yeah, if we're gonna do white as far as motherboard goes, you kind of have to do one of these NZXT boards if you're really gonna do it up right. H710 is good airflow? I believe that. The H710, I'm actually curious. I'm gonna look at this. H710, yeah, some of the like bigger cases are better. The 500 series is rough. Okay, what is, oh, I gotta get out. I gotta back out, H710, yeah. It has, but it has a panel gap on, I think, all the way around, too, doesn't it? I think it has it around the back, which helps. Yeah, I could see that doing all right. It's a bigger case, too, I think. Yeah. I don't know. It's not terrible. It's just like, I didn't even think about airflow that much when I had a 1070, and now that I have a 3080, it's like, oh, my God. The more air I can move through that case, the better. Okay, let's do one of these. We're going to do the Z390. Oh, too bad. I kind of want to do a Ryzen build in this, but I just feel like if you want white and purple, which I want white and purple because white and purple is beautiful and awesome, um, you got to stick with Intel, sadly. CPUs, what is compatible? Show me all the things that are compatible. 8700K. That's right. We can't. Oh, wait. We can't do a 9900K. Ooh, 9900KS. I have someone complaining about uh, 9900K versus KS. Yeah, it's super dumb. Isn't it just like bend a little better, I think? Oh yeah, it has, wow, a lot higher TDP, 127 watts versus 95. Okay, sounds good. We'll do that. KS, ooh, I can feel the performance from that extra letter. Okay, uh, what else? Elite is 10 FPS, bro. I agree, you're totally right. Uh, build a PC building sim themed PC. That's a, I don't even know how that would work. That'd be kind of fun though. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, white 30 series card. No, I don't think so. We don't have a lot of, so our 30 series cards, we have Founders, we've got EVJ's XC3, we've got the For the Win 3. Um, we've got Colorfuls. <laughs> There's not a white one, but there is like an effervescent purple, if that interests you, or this one, which looks like you could probably throw it at someone and probably kill them. Uh, yeah, not really white though, no. Asus has like some white, they have some white cards, like 10 series, 20 series, I think, but nothing nothing 30 series in the game. So no, no white 30 series, which is pretty sad. Cause yeah, you're thinking ahead to the graphics card, aren't you? I can tell, you're thinking ahead. I appreciate your your fo your forethought. Okay, let's remove, are these? Oh, these are 140s. They look huge for some reason. We're gonna take those out cause I wanna put something RGB in this, RGB fans in this. Uh, we only have a single, okay. We could, let's see, we could do, we could do custom water cooling. Let's see. Uh, I gotta look at where the reservoir is gonna go because that is always a big issue. Wow, upside down mounted to the little beauty panel. That is hilarious. I think the graphics card is probably gonna run into this if I put anything very large in there. We could do the ice station upside down. All right, I guess that's fine. It's kind of cool, I don't know. NZXT AIO, could do that too. White 2070 Super. Oh yeah, I think there is a good white 2070 Super. We might have to do that. One of my clients asked for that comment at first. I was skeptical about the CPU bottlenecking on 1440p, but it did just fine. I don't know what this is talking about. Okay, anyway. Uh, Asus released a white version of 30 series. Oh yeah, I have seen that and it's super sweet. It's I think it's really hard to get as if 30 series cards aren't hard to get anyway. Do the mini one? Not the ice, not the ice station. You guys don't like it. It's bad. It's funny as upside down. What else? What I mean, what else could we do? We could do this. Can we do this? Oh my gosh! If it didn't, if the graphics card didn't run into it, it's just so ridiculous. I kind of like it in like the worst way. All right, we'll just the graphics card's totally gonna run into it though. Uh, water cooled GPU. Actually, maybe the water cooled GPU will be alright. EVGA's twenty T twenty. What did I say? Twenty eighty Ti Copper Gaming. XC Hydro or the F th 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 for the Win 3 Ultra. Uh, this one clocks higher. Yeah, figured that was gonna happen. Figured as much. Ooh, that's got big spacing. Okay, we're not gonna be able to run this radiator. Or reservoir, geez. Uh, which I kind of figured. Okay, what, 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 what should we do? Which one? I basically 
I don't even know if the... I might have to do the ice station. Or maybe the shorty D5 would... Oh, that could probably fit. Yeah, that could fit. We aren't going to get the RGB, and that's fine. Uh, more cool. Let's do it. And we'll do the gaming. Okay, cool. I think that's going to work. Oh, what? I have to remove these to remove... Okay. I wish I could do, <laughs> like, one one graphics card vertical mount and then just, like, connect them or something, but you can't. It'd be kinda, I guess we could, we could just run one graphics card, of course, too. Maybe we should. Maybe that would be cool. Whoa, what did I click? Sorry. Uh, we could just run it vertical. Ooh. Ooh interesting what do we think of that it's like evj's like let me force my brand upon everyone it's so like it's so obtuse it's just right there it's like everyone for everyone to see uh colorful 3080 vertical could yeah, we could look at 38 we don't have to do a water cool gpu we could just water cool the cpu um yeah what does the oh yeah that would be kind of fun actually what does that that colorful oh yeah we're doing a white and purple build we got to do the crazy effervescent purple 3080 oh that is so ugly wow and it is like as close to the side panel as humanly possible like i don't know if we i really don't feel like you get the side panel on but wow we are gonna choke the life out of this gpu let's do it Thirteen hundred fifty-five dollars. Wow, what is the scalper prices? Good grief! I've never understood like how the pricing in this game works. Honestly, it's uh doesn't make sense. It, it like never never really works for me. Okay, let's do let's get a radiator in here. Make sure I haven't run into any conflicts. The C two forty D is a thick boy. That ain't gonna work. Uh, nope. I do want to put RGB. Man, I wish there were other RGB radi radiators besides EKs. Oh. Uh. The whole reason I picked this case was so I could show off the RGB fans, but it's going to put them on the inside because you can't change the orientation. I wanted to do an intake setup. Now I'm just like conflicted about everything. Forget water cooling. Who needs it? <laughs> this is like how every PC build goes for me. It's like changed my mind 600 times. Uh, let's see. What kind of cool RGB fans we got? We got, of course, Corsairs, Deep Cools. Yeah. Vardars are not the most attractive fans. Radiant Techs are interesting. I don't like the sticker in the middle. Though it would match our GPU that just has like random red colors on it. Do two 120 mil rads. I just, I want it to be set as intake. Uh, I think it's weird too. Like some of these, like the Antique Prism is ARGB. And I remember like when they added it in the game, ARGB. But like it's not really addressable in any way. So, I don't know. Unless I, like, misunderstand. I don't know. But do you guys know, like, is ARGB a thing in this game? Because to me, it's the same as every RGB thing has already been. It's not any different. Um, but they added it at one point. I remember, like, it was a big deal. ARGB. Like, we can put these Leon Lees in here. Those actually look pretty good. Wait, is that a 120? I want a 140. Can I have a 140, please? No? No? Oh. RGB. Can I do RGB 140? Is this a thing? Does that actually work? Okay. Oh yeah, there are all these new IQ ones from Corsair. I guess we could run those. Yeah, those are fun. Oh, they look so chunky in this case for some reason. I like it. Uh, I don't know if those are ARGB or not. No, I mean I don't. I don't think it mean. I don't think it matters, right? If you put a vertical GPU, you can install the Ragen Tech Razor Reservoir. Yeah, I can definitely get a reservoir in here. I just. Oh yeah, true. I could have done the gigantic one if I did a vertical. Good call. I just want to show off the fans, like with this, with this uh, glass front. I feel like I gotta do it. And if I could just change the orientation of a radiator, then I'd do it. But I can't. I can't because this game is rude. Uh, RGB IQ. Let's just not type the RGB part. IQ. Let's get their 120 in the back. And I think I can do a 140 up top. Cool. There you go. White and purple. It's happening. Uh, nope, 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 not that. Uh, let's do a CPU cooler. We're gonna do an air cooler. Maybe there's an, there's like a, probably like a cool RGB air cooler we could run on this or something. I like this Leo Pro. I used it in the Super RGB PC air cooled edition and it looks like pretty good. Even though it doesn't like, it doesn't look very good in the thumbnail, but I feel like in, in the, in the actual rig, it looks pretty good. Okay. And then we're basically into AIOs. Wow. There are not very many RGB, uh, air coolers. Wow. I don't know how this is. 
what's, what's RGB? Just the fan, probably? Uh, no RGB equals minus 100 FPS. Agreed. Uh, let's see. Mini GPU, top middle one. Scared of my CPU bottleneck. Me too. Me too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lem, lap in my, lem, 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 lem. Let's see. 900KS is the same TDP as the 10600K. Is that... Oh, is that right? That's pretty funny. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like catching up on, on comments I missed. When do you think H720 and H520 will exist? Ooh, I actually don't even know what those cases look like. Um, but I would say that PC Building Sim has a really good relationship with NZXT and they've been reasonably good at adding stuff. So hopefully not too long. I would love to see them add the H1 though. They're like vertical uh, tower case. It looks like a like a Series X. The only thing is it has like proprietary um, AIOs for the GPU and CPU. So I don't know if they could do it with that, but it'd be pretty cool. We'll see. But yeah, I would love to see some new NZXT cases. We haven't seen anything new from them in a while, but they have a lot of cases in the game. So I'm still hoping for Fantex. Obviously the newest uh, manufacturer that we got in the game is Steel Series. We got their peripherals, which is pretty neat, but yeah. It's uh, I mean, it's just peripheral, so it's not like the most the most interesting thing in the world. Oh, the gamers from Fries. See, I can't. I don't think this will. This is not gonna have the clearance of that graphics card. I'm I'm probably a little limited there. ATC 700 from. All right, let's go. Ooh, I kind of would like to get that in there, but it's a little too big. Crayrig H7 Quad Lumi. What do you look like? Eh, no, I'm not feeling that. That's just gonna be the fan. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not feeling that one. Not feeling that one. Uh, eh. I gotta back all the way up just to look at things. And I gotta start all over. AG, let's go. I don't like that. Well, I never looked at it. Let's see. Sure. It's not my favorite thing in the world. It's not my favorite ever, ever, ever. Uh, we should also get some like RAM going. That's important. I feel like. Might have to go Corsair Vengeance Pro White. Oops. Wow. White. Yeah, that actually worked. I didn't think that would carry over. Um, yep. Uh, Corsair Vengeance White is going to be a good one. Patriot Viper RGB White. I don't love it. It says like Viper on the LED. It looks kind of dorky. We could do T Force. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, yeah. T Force got a few good white offerings. Or the Dominator White. Not RGB, though. We got to get RGB going. Okay, let's do T-Force Delta. It's not the fastest RAM in the world, but that's okay. Fits, and let's do this, let's do this. Yep. Nice. T-Force, in case you forgot what brand your RAM is. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Bro, spam in the chat here. What's going on? Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. What else, guys? When are they gonna add Noctu a sponsorship? That'd be cool to have Noctu in the game. That would be super awesome. Uh, I just built the ultimate office PC for career mode. Put the build over in your Discord. Okay. Nice, cool. Yeah, I've been kind of like trying to figure out a way to maybe get like PC submissions back into videos. It's super hard because like I feel like my videos are always longer than I want them to be and that doesn't help. So I don't know. It's something I kind of like want to figure out how to restart, but I want to do it in a way that's good. Um, <laughs> JVN is secretly bit with IRL. That's amazing. I am not. I am not Kyle, I promise. Um, but he does make good stuff. I wish. I wish I had that much access to, like, amazing PC components. That would be super cool. Um, cool. You should make the... Cam they should make the campaign multiplayer so you can do it with friends. That would be awesome, actually. That would be super fun. Uh, if I had friends. Just kidding. Sort of. Uh, purple. Let's do purple, purple, purple cables. Those look so pink, but it says purple. This looks marginally darker. Wait, what? Oh, I don't have a power supply. That's important. We should do a power supply. Uh, okay. Are there? There is a white power supply, you know? Wait. No? There is a white power supply. I think it's made... It's, is it Gamer Storm? No. Yeah, Gamer Storm. 750 watt. That'll be all right. Because we're going to probably go with a 2070 Super. I think that's that good, like, white power supply we can use for this. 
So that'll be nice. Cables. Oh, wow. Those are gigantic. Okay. There we go. What else? Uh, storage. Oh, geez. I just totally afterthought storage. Uh, we can't get to our M.2 drive. Okay, that's fine. You know what? I actually wish that this had somewhere to mount SSDs in the front, like the S340 has those little bays down there. Unless... Oh, it does. Oh, okay. We got to take this graphics real quick. Yep. Well, wow, I didn't realize that had three, the colorful had three power pins too. Three eight pins. Nice. Let's get our little drive base set up here. I was wondering if it would have those. Cool. Cause now we can do uh, those really fun RGB SSDs from T-Force that I like so much. And they have a white one. Oh, yes. This is good. Those are cool white and purple nice we're gonna run it all on two and a half inch ssds i'm feeling it okay grab this guy let's go back to color colorful colorful ridiculous looking purple 3080 yes yes this is good yeah you know what that cpu cooler isn't terrible it's not terrible okay Let's get our back panel on and front panel. Look at that, magical. Oh, wrong button. What am I doing? Uh, all right, we should be good, but I'm not gonna put, oh, I should put all these PCI covers back on. Yeah, that was just gonna be sloppy. Good, good. All right. Uh, oh yeah, hey, cool. I gotta, you know, do this part. Uh, tool, software, software, USB drive. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Power cycle, and we're good. Uh, all right, did I do storage? Yeah, I, I, well, you probably saw that. I think I, I missed it first. 2070 Super in white. I could do that, and I, yeah. What am I saying? I'm saying I'm going to do the 2070 Super in white when I've already got a graphics card in here. I think I might. I think I'm, I, I, my brain, it, it's not working. Yeah, I got to say, uh, I like putting the purple 3080 in here because it's gaudy, but I think a white graphics card with RGB would look better. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll experiment with that option. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't even really need this stuff. Yeah. I want to change the RGB color, though. That's good. Uh, I, like, leave these other computers here. We already looked at that one, the 3D Mark score on that. I guess I could launch, run 3D Mark on this. Oh, this one's testing. Oh, cool. This one's also at 70C. I keep doing this. What? I'm sorry, computers. It's okay. They can handle it. They can stress test. Uh, let's set our RGB though to purple, purple, purple. I like that purple right there. Ooh, yeah. I gotta say the graphics card sticks out like a sore thumb. It's gonna have to go. It's kind of fun to see though, and it's a lot better than a twenty seventy super. But uh, it's purple. It's gaudy, but it just it just sticks out. It just don't quite work. Okay. Let's just take that out real quick. I'm like, let's look at our white graphics card options. Uh, graphics cards and white, white. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> a Founders 1070, how tempting. Okay, let's see. Yeah, dude, it's the 2070 Super. It's like the only white card in the game, pretty much. I don't, it has a little bit of RGB, right? No, not really, just on the side. Nothing on the actual cooler, like the bottom side of the cooler. But it still looks better. I wish if the fans were RGB, it'd be like prime time. We'll at least set our little, there you go. Look at how nice that looks. Now, let's just uh, completely choke it off with the side panel. <gasps> oh, it's so bad. Actually, this has a little more clearance, just a bit, tiny, tiny, tiny more clearance than that colorful card. That colorful card was just like flush right up against the glass. The Gigabyte will probably last at least, you know, a couple months. Not really, it's not that bad, but don't do this. I wouldn't do this in real life. I would not run this setup in real life. Um, all right, well, how long have we been going here? We've been going, wow, we've been going for like an hour and a half. So I think I'm probably gonna wrap this up. Uh, we built a few, a few computers. We built a, a white and purple in the NZXT uh, H510 Elite. We built this horrible gaudy monster in the Ragen Tech Eris Evo uh, with its total, like with its complete issues with putting like fans or radiators all around the case. Uh, hopefully this case gets a lot less buggy because it is pretty jank.
janky. And we made it look janky with our ketchup and mustard cables and clashing green coolant and uh, rainbow RGB and our Band-Aid SLI bridge. But um, there you go. And then we built this, which is actually pretty nice, kind of a, a little bit more mid-range, maybe not completely mid-range, 10600K, a GTX 1660 Super, all built inside the LD03 from Silverstone. It's currently clipping through the table, which I don't understand. I've never seen it do before. Oh, wait, no. Is it clipping? No. It kind of, it's it's at least partially clipping. I don't know. It looks weird. It looks real weird. Oh, we got a 3 mark score, 5,545. The CPU is bringing that score up a bit, the graphics card. Uh, sitting 5239. Okay, so there you go. Um, well, there you go. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. I know it was sort of uh, impromptu and informal, but it was fun to just sort of hang out and, you know, get to like talk to you guys, answer your questions, um, you know, like say what up. So thank you guys all for tuning in and just being awesome and, uh, hanging out with me for a little while. We just sort of built some computers and, and you know, maybe this is something I'll do again or, you know, do a little more regularly or, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's been fun. And if you guys have like ideas for maybe like live streams we can do, like it doesn't have to just be PC building simulator. I know that, that generally like my audience is pretty interested in this game. Um, but it doesn't have to be this game. It could be other games too. And we could, you know, we can come up with a free build. We started in campaign, but I think it was it was too much for me to uh, to think about it once. So we can definitely come back and free build and mess around some more, talk about updates as they come out and, and uh, hopefully we get a console update we can actually talk about soon. So yeah, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed. And then again, thank you all so much for watching and thank you for being so supportive and just like crazy awesome in 2020. And uh, I'm really excited for 2021 and a whole nother year of making videos and playing with PCs. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. So thank you guys. I will, I'll see you in the next video and or live stream. So, all right, see ya.